Hey, Mike Burris here with Spirit Music Meetups, Mike. and we are looking at old dreams, or yeah, visions or dreams, and this is uh, November 26, 2020. You know, you don't think God is watching what you're doing? <laughs> uh, that doesn't change the fact that he's watching what you're doing. So this is one of those dreams, and th you know, I have no reason for dreaming these things. So God is telling me that he's watching people very carefully. And I saw an official notice or declaration with the large lettered title, Sidney Powell. And you say, who, you know, who is Sidney Powell? Well, go look up Sidney Powell. A lot of people think she's, oh, she's a quack, you know, she's a conspiracy theorist. No, she's one of the top lawyers the country's ever seen. <laughs> go look at the resume of Sidney Powell. She is sharp as a tack. She's won huge court cases against government corruption, against um, insider, in, you know, insiders, against the mob. <laughs> no kidding. Organized crime. You know, so she has a track record, and what she stands for is she's just a hero. If you go look at her, she's not what people, the media, mass media, the bad people, if you think about it. If you're Al Capone or El Chapo, you're not going to say nice things about the people who are criticizing you. And you, in fact, you're going to hire a media com campaign. You're going to hire as many um, reporters, many as many stations. You're going to pay them off because you're, you're a drug king. You're a drug lord. You have all the money in the world. And you're going to pay them all off to uh, say what you want them to say against the lawyers who are going after you. And it's all just propaganda. It's deflection. It's how you, you, if you point the finger at somebody and you yell loud enough, everybody looks to where that point finger is pointing. But they don't look at you. They don't dive deep into you. They don't investigate you. They don't go, I wonder if there's an element of truth about this. No. They just hear you, you know, all these people go, oh, it's, it's them, it's them. Anyway, I saw an official notice or a declaration with large letters titled Sidney Powell in blue-green color, and the page had a blue-green border also. Note, I found the color with Google. That was hard. It's called Peacock. So I was like, what is this color? Why is this color so important? God's, God's really into color. He's, he's an artist. And uh, it's called Peacock. No, not only is this the color I saw, but as soon as I saw the name, I knew that was the right color. So as soon as I saw Peacock, I knew it. It's the spirit that speaks. And, con and concerning dreams, they say a peacock is a great sign indicating regrowth, birth, new life, and rejuvenation. They are omens of prestige and success. It is a positive sign for the future that brings luck and happiness. That's what dream, ther dream uh, experts say. I had a dream by God once with a peacock in it. And it was in God's house. And it had to do with future knowledge of great success. The peacock was the Holy Spirit. I couldn't catch him. And uh, the Lord just said, uh, call him over to you. I couldn't catch him. I tried to run after him, I couldn't catch him. It was in God's house and had to do with future knowledge of great success. Yeah, he was going to be, he was like um, fortune. Back to my dream. What was inside the borders was a picture of a mission building, you know, like an old church, Mexican, but it was rounded like Mexican. It was not rounded like Mexican missions, but with a stately looking A-frame, A-frame, a front roof with the sign of the cross on it. It was a large building on a beautiful estate like a southern mansion. There was writing below the picture, but I wasn't focused on this, just the impressiveness of this mission mansion. I know the media has discounted Sidney Powell. We just talked about that, especially now that she is not appearing. She decided not to appear. She's, she has her own company uh, called Defending the Republic. 
especially now that she is not appearing with the Trump team of lawyers. You know, there was a team of lawyers. She she stopped appearing. At first, she was appearing with them. So now they're like, oh, she's being dissed, blah, blah, blah. But then again, she always had her own independent firm. But the Lord is clearly, clearly saying that he is behind her great success with the things that were going on. If you want to read the details of that, you have to go out to the text. She was she was very involved, and she will bringing she will be bringing this to court if the courts cooperate, because there's a judicial system. So there's people, there's operatives, enemies within. The Constitution knows about this. There's 20 percent of uh, America had loyalists to England. So they wrote in the Constitution that there was this thing called enemies within, because 20% were spies or loyalists to England. So, you know, they were sabotaging, sabotaging our government. He has officially declared, uh, but the Lord is clearly saying that he's behind her great success with these cases that she will bring to court. And this will take a long time, by the way. Court processes are extremely slow. And... There's appeals and all this stuff goes on. He officially declared her as his mission, and it is big as a mansion in Grandeur and will be peacock successful in the future. You know, things take time. And the Lord has to do a lot of things behind the scenes with a lot of people's lives. He's not just dealing with one situation. Seek the Lord to open your eyes so that you have Ido vision to understand, it's a Greek word meaning to mentally perceive, it's the knowledge of the Lord calls us to, Jeremiah 31, 34. And open your ears so that you may ikuo, hear with understanding. That's uh, where we get acoustic. Greek word means to hear, to understand. Jesus said, open their eyes, open their ears. He said this often. If you don't get this Holy Spirit revelational knowledge, you will... You, all you will ever see and hear is the physical realm right in front of you, which is usually an illusion. And you will be greatly deceived because outward appearances are often deceiving. And you can't judge a book by its cover. And the great deceiver, who is Satan, is in the world really having a heyday with the media, our physical eyes and ears. Even so-called fair and balanced, <laughs> the fair and balanced Fox Channel is, you can see this, often a joke. Even the spokesmen, the top spokesmen, you'll see that they, they get compromised. They're being told what to say in many cases. It seems many in the lying frying meeting media are getting their resumes revised to be ready to jump to the Harris-Biden regime. Yeah, you look at how many people have left the media and have joined their team. Because they were working together, hello, and that's exactly what it will look like. And more and more people will be leaving and being part of the team. The team. They have a globalist regime planned to dissolve our nation. And they will do it with George Soros within four years. And so we'll see... This played out. There's a globalist agenda. There's the World Economic Forum. There's Illuminati. There's some really big multi-billionaires like George Soros running the International Monetary Fund, who very openly declared that he wants to destroy America. He has no intentions for America to remain sovereign nation. And there will be no 2024 if they are allowed to continue in power. They, they have a demise in plan. They want to prevent right freedom. They want to prevent fairness. You'll see all the details out there at the link. That's why everything is at stake now, why God is showing all his prophets every day what is really going on. So the church will wake up from its slumber and intercede. That's what we were told to do. Stand with the Lord's great armies to fight the good fight by faith. Relational trust and dependence. Fight along his side. Speak against the demons in the name and authority of Jesus Christ. 
These are our weapons of warfare. Read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, and do them. Pull down demonic strongholds with your with your weapons, right? Your tongue. Fight for the truth, righteousness, and justice. Fight. Don't complain or doubt God's ability. Pick up your weapons and fight alongside him. I don't know how many times God has told me this. Fight, fight, fight. No retreat, no re surrender. Don't roll over and play dead. Now, this was that back in November 26th of 2020. A lot has happened since then. Haven't we seen this played out? He said, God said, if you allow this to happen, the agenda is moving forward. The globalist agenda is moving forward. And that's exactly what has happened. America is under attack. Big time. And you thought it was... I thought it was just starting, and I was like, oh, this is pretty bad, what we're seeing towards the end of 2020. It's going to get, it gets w much worse, doesn't it? And it's going to get much worse because the church hasn't repented. They haven't done the things that the prophets told them to do. So this is with, this is the way we see it all through the judgment of Israel, God's people. If they don't obey, if they don't do what the prophets, it was the prophets that speak and see for God. If they don't do it, then it gets dragged out. The plan gets dragged out. They have to learn to trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. It's the same word, trust and obey. It's the same, same thing. Nothing's changed. And so the church has to wake up. And when the church finally wake up, wakes up, and I believe this has to be a, a miraculous act of God, then the world will find out the truth. Because as the church goes, the world goes. It's not the verse the other way around. It's the church was supposed to be the light. But if the light is darkness, oh, how great the darkness is. So they put their light under a bowl. They no longer spoke the truth or stood for the truth. They complied. They conformed to the image of this world. They listened to the lying, frying media. They actually believe the propaganda of the media. They think that those companies that are run by six major corporations all saying the same thing. It's ticker tape parade, you know. They, they have an agenda. They got the memo, and it circulates between these companies because they're all owned and regulated by the six companies. And those companies, those super multi-billionaires, they're all... In the same room, smoking the big cigars, they're all talking to each other. They're the Illuminati. They're the world globalist leaders. They're the World Economic Forum. Come on, man. Come on, man. Wake up, man. Wake up and smell the coffee. All right. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. I'd just love to be a fly in one of those rooms, wouldn't you? A reporter fly. <laughs> Report what goes on in those rooms because I... I was aware of these rooms in my companies that I worked for. You know, all these decisions were made behind closed doors, smoking cigars, uh, drinking cognac, out on the golf course making, making decisions that would affect literally thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people. So a few, few bad apples ruins the whole bunch. That's the old saying, right? A few bad apples rots the whole basket. That's what we got. That's what we got. Uh, the kingdoms of this world are the kingdoms of Satan. Jesus said he's the god of this world, the prince and power of the air. And so all the kingdoms were being offered to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Bye-bye.